Welcome to the HP12C video tutorial series, Finding Payments Per Period in TVM Calculations. The HP12C is easy to use when computing time value money calculations, hereafter referred to by the acronym TVM. A TVM calculation involves some or all of these five variables, number of payments, interest, present value, payments per period, and future value. These five variables are all important players in a wide variety of financial scenarios. The good news for you, the financial planner, is if you know any four of the five variables, you can use the HP12C to solve for the one you want. Let's review three scenarios where you will be asked to find the variables concerned with payments per period denoted as PMT. Many such calculations are made easier by using the prefix G key, which reduces the number of keystrokes needed to key in the variables. On the N key in blue, you will notice 12X, and on the I key, you will see 12 division symbol. The former automatically adjusts years into the equivalent number of months, and the latter aids in correctly entering the interest rate. You will see these used in example one in a few moments. Clear financial registers with F reg. Example 1. Roy and Helen just bought a house and borrowed $340,000. The terms of the mortgage are 30 years with a fixed rate of 6%. How much will their monthly payment be at the end of each month? Let's identify the four variables needed to compute the monthly payment. Present value is $340,000. How do we know if this number is positive or negative? In the cash flow model, money going towards the borrower will be positive, so we don't need to adjust the sign. Enter this on the keypad and press the PV key to enter the number into the register. The loan will be fully paid off to a balance of zero, so let's enter zero into the future value register, FV. Interest is 6%. Given that this question is asking for monthly payments, we cannot simply enter 6% into the interest register. No, we need to divide that percentage rate into 12 little monthly pieces. Thankfully, the HP12C has an easy way to do that. Under the I key, in small blue letters, is 12 division symbol. And using the blue prefix G key, you can get that value in the register correctly. Enter 6, then G then press the I key. The display will read 0 0.5, and that's fine. That's what 6% looks like in a single month. And even better, using this method also enters it into the register. 30 years looks like the value we will put into N, but consider this first. We want the monthly payment, so we need to change 30 years into months. Common sense would lead you to think you can just multiply 30 by 12. Similar to how we entered interest a few seconds ago, we can use the blue prefix G key to save some time. Under N, it reads 12X in small blue letters. This means you can easily enter in 30 years as months. Type in 30, blue prefix G, then N. The display reads 360 months. We have four of the five variables in, so it's now okay to press PMT and compute monthly payments. The value looks like negative $2,038.47. This is correct. And recall, the cash flow model says money flowing from borrowers back to lenders is negative. Example two, it has been determined that Sue and Bob will need $250,000 in 17 years to fund their one-year-old child's college education. If they currently have $10,000 set aside for this goal, and average annual rate of return of 7.5% over the next 17 years, how much will they deposit into the account every month beginning today? Clear financial registers with F reg. The four variables needed to compute the monthly payment are number of payments, 17 years times 12, which we will see in a moment, interest, 7.5% divided by 12, 
which we will also see in a moment, present value $10,000, and the future value of $250,000. First, let's make sure we have the payment mode set to begin, and this is because the words beginning today are a dead giveaway that interest will begin to accrue when a monthly payment is made, and that means at the start of the payment cycle. Set this mode by pressing the blue prefix key and the digit 7 on the keypad, and you will see the word begin in the calculator's display. One other consideration is knowing which numbers will be positive and which will be negative by the cash flow model. Present value of 10,000 will be negative, and also the monthly payments made will be negative. Enter each variable into their respective register. 250,000 goes into FV. Negative 10,000 goes into the present value register PV. In order to make this number negative, press the CHS key. CHS means change sign, and this will make positive numbers negative and vice versa. Now that it's negative, you can enter it into the PV register. Interest will be entered as 7.5 prefix G I key. The display should read as 0 0.63, which is 7.5 divided by 12. Number of payments will be the number of months in 17 years, and this is entered by keying in 17, prefix G, and then the N key. 204 is 17 times 12, and that value is now in the number of payments register. Four variables are now in the four registers, and the payments per month can now be found by pressing the PMT key. The negative sign indicates these are payments, and $519.16 is the final answer. Example 3. Sheila made equal deposits into XYZ Growth Fund at the end of each month for the last 10 years. Over the last 10 years, the fund earned an average annual rate of return of 9.45%. Today, the fund is worth $153,849.33. How much did Sheila invest into the fund at the end of each month? Clear financial registers with F reg. The words end of each month are important, so take care to set the calculator back to the end mode by keying in prefix G8. This question presents a challenge on how to assign variables into the register PV and FV. Since the ending worth of the fund was $153,849.33, we will consider that the future value and put that into FV. Next, let's look at the present value. Nowhere does it state a starting value since this growth fund began with a zero balance, so key in zero and assign it to the register PV. Interest rate is 9.45%, and once again, this value will go into the I register as a monthly rate. Enter it into the register using the blue prefix G key and pressing the I key. Again, 0 0.79 is the correct value, and this is 9.45 divided by 12. Number of payments will be 10 years multiplied by 12 months. This is entered as 10, blue prefix key, N key. The display reads 120, which is 120 months. Press the PM key and $775 invested per month. And that's the final answer.